month since 13-year-old Jamie Kloss went missing from her home in Barron, Wisconsin. Massive searches and thousands of tips turning up empty. Thanks for joining us tonight. In a story you'll only see on Fox 9, we're hearing from Jamie Kloss's family. Her aunts and uncle open up about the past four weeks and the family birthday party just hours before Jamie disappeared and her parents were murdered. Paul Bloom is live in Barron tonight, and Paul, this family has had a lot to deal with. Kelsey, this is a tight-knit Wisconsin family leaning on one another right now, literally just to make it through each and every day. And through it all, they refuse to give up the faith, the hope that Jamie is out there somewhere. Do you guys have your own suspicions? <laughs> Our mind goes 24-7. Uh, try to yeah. every single thing you have a constant headache you can't it's been everywhere it's been everywhere Jamie Kloss's loved ones compared to sleepwalking a constant day since our world was flipped on its head four weeks ago if you're just dealing with anger that's one thing to deal with but when you're dealing with fear sadness anger so many emotions that hit you all at once all you do is you feel numb. You just don't know where to go. Steve Nyberg is Jamie's uncle. Denise Kloss, his sister. It was a month ago, October 15th, when Denise and her husband James Kloss were shot to death inside their barren home along Highway 8. But by the time authorities got to the house, after a confusing and chaotic 911 call from Denise's cell phone, Jamie was gone, as was the apparent murder weapon. An Amber Alert remains active for the 13-year-old who her aunts, uncle, and grandpa remain convinced is out there, alive, somewhere. Her dog, Molly, waiting for her. For someone who might come across her, is there something that would stick out? Is there a laugh? Is there a, 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 a crazy word she likes to say? She always had a soft giggle. This is her little soft giggles, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't forget that little dimple on yeah, her chin. Yeah, dimple on her chin. How is, how is your family holding up? We just want Jamie home. We want to know why all this happened and just wish we had some answers and hoping for some or hoping for that miracle of Jamie coming home. I asked Jamie's loved ones about the day leading up to the shocking crime. There was a family birthday party at the home of Jamie's aunt, Jennifer Smith, on the other end of small town Barron. Jamie and Denise were there. Jamie a little quiet, which we are told was pretty normal. Mom and daughter both headed home together at about four in the afternoon. The tragedy unfolding less than 10 hours later. I'll never forget when we left because yeah. my husband and I left at the same time as my dad and Denise and Jamie. She was, as we were pulling out, that's my last picture and that's how I'm going to keep it. Denise was at her car door waving like this. Her. Big old smile. The family reports Denise had even followed up with Sunday evening phone calls with them. Again, all seemed normal. They believe the attack was targeted and planned and recently returned to the Kloss house and searched for answers of their own. It brought up more questions for us. <laughs> brought up, it did, brought up more questions. It was hard, really hard. And Susie Allard and the others tell me while the community's support in Barron has been overwhelming, the rumors connected to this case on social media really hurt. One they dismiss angrily is this idea Jamie had some secret older boyfriend. On Monday, a request for the world to keep its eye on the ball and focus on bringing their teenage niece and granddaughter home safely. There has to be something out there. Someone has that one bit of information that they need to come forward with. There has to be. And the family went on to tell me they actually videotaped Jamie's parents' recent funeral in the hopes of one day showing it to Jamie to bring the young child some closure. I did have a chance to speak to the Barron County Sheriff on Monday. He reports basically nothing new in the case. Investigators still tracking down leads. But again, they need that one tip out there to bring Jamie home. We're live in Barron, Wisconsin tonight. Paul Blue, Fox 9.